Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Melinda with Miss Little's Kitchen. And I'm gonna show you guys a real quick video of how I do seasoned white rice. I have two cups of water in a pot. I have some rinsed long grain rice. One cup of rinsed long grain rice I'm gonna add to the pot. You can either use chicken bouillon powder or you can use the chicken bouillon cubes. Whichever one you have, I have both. So I'm gonna use, that's two cups of water to one cup of rice. And I'm gonna use about, it should be about two tablespoons or a tablespoon and a half of bouillon flavor. I'm just gonna add it to my water. And I got my rice cooking on low. And it also depends on how much flavor you want on your rice, in your rice. I'm gonna go in with a block of bouillon powder. So for this, you won't, um, you won't need salt, guys. So I'm gonna simmer this. I'm gonna bring it to a boil first. And then I'm gonna simmer it for 15 minutes until the water has evaporated. Over here, I got a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna fry up two fillet, two pieces of fillet catfish. Here I have one of my fillets I've rinsed and I've pat it dry. I'm gonna put the lid on the rice. Don't forget to stir this occasionally, guys. I'm gonna cover it. I have my eye over here on number seven. It's an electric stove. Here I'm gonna prep my seasoning for my fish. I have some whole peppercorns here that I'm gonna crush by hand. For those of you who don't have a, um, a pepper grinder, you could take the back of a, a spoon and place it and just kind of add pressure to the peppercorn. I hope you guys can kind of see, just kind of add pressure to the peppercorn and it'll crack the corns for you. And again, y'all, I'm just showing you, giving you a you see how that fit? Yeah. And if you want it a little finer, fine, you can kind of put it in a food processor or food grinder or as I've stated, you can you can just um, you know. Okay. And here's my fish. I'm gonna go ahead and season it because my I have a tablespoon of butter flavored shortening. Because after we give this a nice browning, we're gonna um, add a little bit of sea salt to it. Just a little bit, guys. I think I added too much right there. It don't take a lot for fish. Just a little bit of sea salt. We're gonna add a little bit of the black peppercorn. One shot. We're gonna simmer the rice. And guys, you can taste your rice if it's not uh, as seasoned as you like. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic powder to the fish. I'm gonna turn the fish over and we're gonna season the back side of it. This is sea salt, guys, that I'm adding to the fish. I'm 
them a little bit more. So we're only gonna do one fillet right now, guys. And we're gonna pop this baby in the oven after we sear it on both sides. Down, we're gonna sear each side. Put on one of the guys. Okay, I'm back, guys. This fish doesn't take a long because it's a thinner fish as well. So. And you want to fry it on either side for about five, like three to five minutes on each side. Make sure you leave a little opening to that. This is just something quick, guys. I just want to show you. It's a kind of black thing you see. And it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long at all. Remember, guys, three to five minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the fish. Be long at all. If it's thick, you can kind of sear it on both sides for two to three minutes just to give it a brown sear on, on each side. You can pop it in the oven for a few minutes. This fish isn't that thick, so I'm not gonna even use the oven option because it's not that thick. And it'll be done after the brown on both sides. So yeah. And this is just a little quick meal, guys, that you all can prepare. Uh, really, really quick meal. a really really quick cool meal that you guys can prepare yourself at home. Um, not high in fats at all. And the chicken bouillon powder is always it just gives it a better flavor. Gives it a much better flavor um, to the rice. You can also add saffron to this rice too, but saffron is very expensive. It's a herb. And uh, you can always taste the um, Because some of my water has boiled out of my rice, I'm gonna add just a little bit more to it. Just a little bit. I would say about 
maybe three tablespoons. should kind of look like this. Yeah, not much rice on it, so I'm going to cover it. Continue simmering, simmering it on low. And the fish should be done. The fish that I'm actually using is filet catfish. Um, the total time of this meal to prep it and to, um, to cook it, I would give about 20 minutes. At most. Oh, that's why it's cooking so so slow. I'm sorry, guys. Don't be like me. <laughs> I just found myself seeing a fish on uh, two on my lucky stove. I'm filming from work, and so um, Doesn't take long at all. I think I'm gonna taste it. I'm sure that it's enough um, salt. And also, guys, if this is not enough salt for you, you can always add after you take it out. But because um, you don't get this one good sear on high, and then we'll be done with, with this. Um, Yeah, guys, so this meal should only take about 20 minutes max. Um, 15 minutes for the rice. Bring it to a bowl. Turn it back low after it's cooked for about 5 minutes on high. Um, lower the temperature. You're going to simmer this rice for another 15 minutes, uh, another 10 minutes. Um, and then you're going to fry, um, you're going to blacken the fish on both sides for 5 minutes, 3 to 5 minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish. And then the fish is done. We're done with the fish. Now yeah, it's done. So we're gonna plate it. And this is what the fish look like, guys. It's dripping on a piece of paper towel, so yeah. So we're gonna plate the fish. And we're gonna switch eyes and we're gonna work on the This is a meal, guys, that you can um, prepare for anyone who's um, diabetic or um, who's watching their their health. I mean, you can substitute the white rice for, because um, I'm using white long brown rice. Um, you can substitute that rice for a brown rice or a, uh, some type of pasta, um, and it'll be, you know, it'll, it'll be good. Let me show you the fish. And that's bear season. That's um, a little bit of uh, sea salt, a um, little garlic powder, and a little uh, cracked black pepper on there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. Guys, I had promised that I would bring you more videos. Um, and so um, that's what I'm trying to do, bring you more videos. Okay. Now, at this point, guys, what you can do is you could turn your stove off. I'm going to put that in a piece of the foil so the fish would stay um, until the rice is done. Right here is where you could just turn the eye off and just let it finish cooking um, with, with the lid on it. And just let it sit for about five minutes and it'll be done. It'll be al dente. Or you can continue cooking it. At this point, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to let it stay on the hot, the hot pie and I'm going to turn it off. And I'm gonna let it finish cooking. This guys will conclude this video. Again, this is just a quick little meal that I want to show you guys. Um, so thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and like my YouTube channel. Share with your family and your friends. Um, again, the recipe was two cups of water, one cup of long grain white rice. I rinsed and then I put in a in the water. I put um, two, two teaspoons of 
chicken bouillon powder, and then I put one block of chicken bouillon seasoning. Um, for my fish, I added just a little bit of sea salt. You can use pink um, sea salt, which is great, which is amazing. I'm using what I have in this particular kitchen because I'm not in my own kitchen. Um, I use a little bit of garlic powder and crushed black pepper for a, um, a good recipe. So, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you want from me. More videos to come. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. You have a great day.